and it is time for the league reveal. The league we'll be doing this time is the DDL once again. But this time the DDL will be done more consistently. How's it going, everybody? It's your boy Incog back at it again with another video. This time just the league reveal, telling you the ten teams that'll be in the DDL. But to go over some things first, I want to say thank you to my friend Thoth. She made this logo. It is representative of last league's winner, the Baltimore Bisharps and Tep. He decided to pick Pachirisu for this next logo, and uh, this looks really awesome, I will say. But we move on to some things that were changed. Baton Pass is now not banned, but Speed Passing is banned. Mega Salamence is unbanned. Jirachi is unbanned, and so is Snorlax. These are all going to be tested, of course, those three Pokemon. And we're going to find out whether or not, you know, we should ban them or we shouldn't. I know in some, you know, there are some circumstances where you could just ban them just to be safe. But I want to see how it goes. It's not like the SBA where I had RC's legal for some damn reason. No, 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 no. This is more, there will be more thought process going into this, I would hope. But let's go ahead and dive right into the contestants. Or well, the participants, I should really say. First up. We have one of the finalists in the MCC. By the time you're hearing this, I don't know. They're, they're playing the next day after this will be going up. So this will be going up Saturday. So yeah. Um, first, partic or first participant is Gordon, his Washington Archons. As everybody knows, if you make top two in my leagues, you're guaranteed a spot into the next league. And Gordon made top two. So that's always fun. So yeah, he's a great competitor, and I think this was just a no-brainer, even if he didn't make top two. But yeah, let us continue. Our next participant is Cogent in his Greenville Gudras. He's also one of the top two in the MCC. He just went from Tennessee Trumbeaks to Greenville Gudras because this is the team name that he has originally had. I mean, he was a Greenville Goomy, he's not Gudras. You, you get my point, basically. He's been here. He's done that. He's been in my leagues so top two he's also kind of a no-brainer if he didn't make top two so obvious is obvious but now let's go ahead and go on to our next participant which is obviously the reigning champ tep and his baltimore bishops uh yeah so he was required because as i do every time uh the winner and runner up make it into the league and then if they don't want to then i have more people to select from but they wanted to so i said okay that's fine so Tep, Baltimore Bishops in this league. Next up, we have the runner-up from last season, Jaden. But this time, he changed his name from the Equivo Colavas to the Minutemen Minin. Shout out to those who know that reference, because I figured it out instantly and I got angry. Jaden was the runner-up last season. Maybe he won't be the runner-up this season. Maybe he'll actually win. Who knows? I rated him very low last season in the DDL, and then he finished second. So, I mean, hey, anything can happen. But let's go ahead and move on to our next participant in the DDL Season 3. Yeah, that's right. The two-time league champion. That one guy, Ben, in his Norco Noctowis, he is coming back. And he has a vendetta against a lot of the people who are going to be in this uh, league. Believe me. Uh, as I said, Ben is on two leagues, which were the SBA and the... Um, what, what the, am I, I am blanking out on this. Oh, and Little Cup God Season 2. So he won the RCS League. <laughs> Basically, that's what that was. And then Little Cup. Two straight. Two straight, my guy. But let's move on to the next uh, participant. Our next participant is... Yeah, Sandy's coming back, too. Yeah, these two have a history together. Uh, ben and Sandy. But yes, Sandy and his Green Bay Simi Sages. Sandy's one of the few eighth seeds, or with the first one to do it, to make it all the way to the finals. But unfortunately, he lost last time he made it that far. But hey, maybe Coach really clips that and win. But Sandy's coming back. He's a great competitor, and I do love his drive to win. Moving on to our next participant, we have... Steven, yeah, Steven's here. Steven was a person who I basically DM'd on Twitter um, about the um, middle cup circuit. And I thought it wasn't going to turn out that great because usually when I DM people on Twitter, it's not that great. 
with Gordon, he is running illegally, so I was like, okay, maybe, maybe not. With Steven, I was kind of throwing my, all my eggs in a basket, and I'm really glad I got a good return on this. <laughs> Steven has been a great competitor, a good friend to me, and overall, I think he's going to be a great competitor for the Duplex Double Z Season 3. Moving on, we have our next contestant, or I keep saying contestant, I want to say participant, but whatever. Next team. Espions, yes, the man, the myth, the legend, the man who got all the way to the original uh, monotype, uh, what was it, mono -E monotype league, which was renamed to the uh, NBA. He is back. He was one of the finalists in that league, and unfortunately, then he got, I think, ninth or tenth or something of that sort in the DDL season two. It happens, it'd be like that, but now he's coming back. He's trying to win it all. Or maybe he's just here to have fun. Who knows? Most people are just here to have fun. But hey, that won't stop me from selecting him. And he accepted, of course. So this should be an interesting season because SBI might want to make it to finals again. Who knows? I haven't had him in the league in a bit, so this could be epic. Next up on the participant list is, yes, a newer team I'm kidding <laughs> if you don't know whose logo this is this is Toby's logo he has a new logo he'll be coming back to a league as the wish wash wishy you know it's a tongue twister and I knew this was gonna happen as soon as I announced it wish wash wishy washers there we go so Toby's been a really good friend to me and obviously he's a really good competitor in league play so this should be really interesting and he has a new logo so that's really epic maybe this is you know predicting what he might draft i don't know but we'll find out of course once we get the draft started and everything else but i think we have about one more team a new challenger always approaches my leagues one to two challengers and his name is kacharian aka robert aka my homeboy and his oshawa oshawats he has never participated in one of my leagues before so this will be an experience for him to enjoy um, Robert is a good competitor. He has his own league that I am, I am a part of, and it was fun. And um, to be honest, he'll probably have a good first season. I mean, most people do. Um, and hopefully he does well. I mean, Robert loves to have fun. He's a competitive person, but he's also a really fun person to be around. So this should be an epic season with him included. But that'll do it for me, guys. Those are your 10 teams that are in the DDL Season 3. Uh, I don't really have much else to say. Um, the draft should start probably immediately after Gordon and Kojin fight. And then you'll get a video on team analysis and stuff like that, which should be fun. And then week one predictions. Obviously, by that time period, I should be in California by then. So then all of my upload times will be PST. So if I say like, oh, I'm uploading this at 9 a.m. PST, that means it's just going up at 12 p.m. EST, just so people understand the three hour difference between them. I just want to make sure I get that out there. Uh, uploads will still be this relatively the same uh, when I move out, of course, if that wasn't obvious. But all in all, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, also, and also subscribe today if you're new. Check out my Twitch page in the description. It's a fun time there, right here. I'll talk to you guys later in the DDL, or well, probably for the championship postcom of the MCC and then the DDO or maybe a showdown. I don't know yet, but I'll talk to you guys later basically. Okay. See ya.